Hey guys, I wanted to show you this. Um, so far, I, um, I've covered figure and ground in the first and the last compositions, but we haven't really talked about the middle, and I want to cover that today. Notice how in this composition, in the middle composition, I pulled in elements from the figure, the first composition, and elements from the third composition, and I basically made a combination of the two. And I believe that this is the easiest route for you to create the figure ground reversal. You can seek out a more unique um, composition, a completely new composition for the middle, but I think that this might be easier if you combine what you learned um, in composition one figure and composition three ground. Um, to create an effective figure ground reversal by combining them both. Just like we discussed in all of the many student examples, the first composition we ask, okay, what's in the foreground? What is the figure? And I've actually labeled it here as figure, so I'm a bit, you know, cheating you, but um, I see this black um, organic shape and these other circles which are in close proximity to this larger shape as jutting out and up from the bottom left and the white is the background that surrounds it. The third composition, those circles are actually now whole, are holes um, lit with a light source and I've actually used some perspective. They're still curved line. They're curved lines, but they are in perspective. These lines indicate that this organic shape and these circles are actually holes now that are receding into space. And we can see inside that hole. At least that was my intention. And therefore, when we can see or because we can see inside these holes, they become space that is negative or in the background, and therefore um, the ground and the surrounding white space has now become the uh, figure. So I've taken and combined both what I've learned in the first composition and the third composition and combine the two. So now they meet the requirements of that optical illusion or more um, appropriately termed figure ground reversal where I can see both at once and I can move between seeing them as holes or as columns jutting out from the bottom. Um, and I think if you take this route in combining figure uh, four figure ground reversal, I think it might be easier for you. Um, this uh, project is difficult enough. So um, pay attention, take notes. I'm going to play the rest of this and uh, just some bits and pieces of how I arrived at this result. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And make sure that you email me with any questions you may have. And I hope to hear from you soon. Take care, guys.